Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a closer look at the Rat Attack pedal from Synthrotech. This is a kit that I actually got for Christmas from some of my family members. And you can see this, I just did this um, panel artwork. These are supposed to be little rat heads. I don't know, not really an artist, but anyway, this is what it looks like when it's assembled. And um, it's actually a really great little kit. I've done several kits from Synthrotech on my channel and their kits are usually pretty easy to follow, pretty um, simple to put together. And this is no um, exception. To my surprise, it actually came with the case and the case was drilled along with all the parts and you know all the electronic components and stuff that you need. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty well laid out kit. Now, if you're familiar with the rat pedal at all, it's an iconic distortion pedal. And um, the original ones had three knobs that were really cl very clearly labeled distortion, filter, and volume. And you see this one actually has four knobs. Well, that's Synthrotech's little extra thing. They added a tone here. They actually call it the R-Tone. Now, a quick thing on the PCB, they're actually labeled as drive instead of distortion. Now, if you're really interested in the traditional rat sound, you can sort of turn this tone knob down and you and just not tweak this and you've basically got the original. So if that's what you're interested in, but they added this to sort of put their own spin on the rat. Now what gives the rat its character sound is the LM308 op amp that it used. And they actually use an LM308 in this kit. It's included with the parts. And the other thing that gave the rat its characteristic sound is it, it used clipping diodes where some of the other uh, distortion pedals at the time did not. Well, Synthrotech added this little block on the back that allows you to switch between silicone clipping diodes and germanium clipping diodes because some people like one or the other and because it has a jumper block like this you can actually create asymmetric symmetric you know using all or none or whatever you want so we'll demo that a little later in the video now like most of the synthrotech kits you just sort of populate the pcb put everything in there and um then eventually it drops right into the enclosure here and everything as i mentioned before was pre-drilled and so it's actually pretty darn easy to put together but you know what you don't want to hear me talk about assembling the rat you want to hear what it sounds like so let's do some sound samples okay folks so let's take a listen here for starters here is the clean tone okay and we've got a rat i'm going to put in two camera angles here so you can kind of see what i'm doing so let's go ahead and punch the rat on and right away we hear rat distortion, or rat attack, excuse me. So just qu real quick, on the traditional rat, you've got the three knobs and of course the filter, um, well you've got, let's start here with distortion. You've got distortion and volume and together these kind of will change your different tones. So if we turn the distortion down, maybe give it just a little more volume, we can get kind of a bluesy tone on this pedal. I'll go to the neck pickup here. <laughs> So, you know, you can get kind of a tone like that out of it, or you can crank the distortion up and probably take the volume down just a little and get a really heavy sound, a metallic sound. Now, this is where sort of the rat's kind of traditional tone shaping comes in. It's got this filter control, and as we turn this filter, we notice we remove some of that high-end bite. And that's what people like about it because you can really get rid of some of that high-end bite as you get that um, distortion cranked way up. But the problem, when you do that, it gets a little muddy. So a lot of times you had to come back this way. So what Synthrotech did is they added this tone control where it puts back some of those high. So it does give it a little different tone there, um, which is nice. And then of course, you can always take the filter down and mess with the other traditional controls. So a lot you can do with the rat here. Um, let's just kind of try to dial in some, uh, a pretty cool tone with it here.
Okay, so next, let's um, demonstrate the diodes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record a little riff here, chunky little something that'll sound good with distortion. And then I'll uh, go back and change the uh, jumpers on the back or the jumper blocks so that you can hear how the different diodes sound. Now one note about that, silicone diodes tend to be a little bit louder than um, germanium diodes and also uh, asymmetrical clipping tends to be a little bit louder than symmetrical clipping. Um, so you might notice a very slight volume difference. If you do, don't worry, I'm not using like the full volume of the rat. There's plenty of headroom. So if you like one of those sounds and you think, oh, it's gonna be too quiet. No, there's plenty of headroom to turn it up. All these different tonal controls really give us a lot of flexibility with this pedal. Okay, folks, so there you have it. That was a closer look at the Rat Attack kit 
from Synthrotech. Um, pretty easy kit to put together. Love the tone. I like the little additions that they did with the R-Tone uh, knob and then the jumper block on the back. It really gives you a lot of flexibility in this pedal. You can make this thing sound like anything from, you know, mellow blues to straight out fuzz and about anything in between. Cool little pedal, very versatile. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. I'll see you soon.